Once again I carried out lots of experiments to further improve my granules extruder. Again I have modified the mechanics of the Bruiser Mark IV and that I have now attached the cone of the material supply to the front. The reason for this is that the fine powder that I currently use as raw material does not flow as nicely as the granules from shredded plastic that I previously used. I also integrated the Bruiser's original force sensor into the mechanics in order to be able to use the automatic bed leveling of the printer. With those upgrades implemented, larger prints than the track links I have previously printed can now be made. Regarding the extruder, I made a new tube. At the upper end I made two notches with a round file that, together with a 3mm cut, improves the entry of the granules into the extruder. I also made and tested several variants of auger screw geometries. It turned out to be problematic that a small immersion depth, hence a short screw design leads to nicely uniform extrusion, but the side effect is excessive stringing. This disappears if the screw is made longer, but then the print quality visibly decreases. The problem is the lack of precision with the handmade extruder. The deeper the screw goes, the more noticeable the not so good runout becomes, as sometimes more, sometimes less material is extruded while the auger wobbles around. However, if the screw goes not deep enough, the material will not be pulled out of the extruder during retraction. With a variant that represents a good compromise between uniform extrusion on the one hand and not too much stringing on the other, I will now show the print of another Benji, I have already printed some of them in the course of my tests. I won't comment the print sequences, open your eyes and ears and judge for yourself.
The Benji was finished after 55 minutes. The result is quite impressive in my opinion. There are no gaps in the walls and the surface can be said to be quite smooth. The part cooling is still too weak, but that will change with the upcoming upgrades of my Bruiser, more on this in one of the following videos. Printing was done with a 0.5mm nozzle, as the powder easily accumulates impurities, especially in the experimental phase, which leads to clocking issues with smaller nozzles. The layer thickness is 0.2mm, the extrusion width was set to 0.5mm. The printing temperature was set to a rather low value of 205 degrees Celsius, as a higher volume of molten material is in the granules extruder than is the case with a filament extruder. If you would like to support me financially in the further work on this open source granule printer, besides additional information about the project, there is also a donate button on my pages. Many thanks to all the great people who have already made use of it. A special thanks goes to my anonymous major sponsor. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.